All right, JP here with JP is sick and crazy, and in this video, I'm just gonna show you. I figured I uh, show you since I had the opportunity how to properly acclimate your fish. In my opinion, now this is just my opinion on how to properly acclimate your fish. Again, my opinion. Um, as you can see, newly acquired dragon blood peacock, right there, a little juvie dragon blood peacock. And uh, I'm going to show you how to acclimate him. Right now, first thing you do is take this bag, and he's from Petco. I just picked up a 55-gallon tank there, which I'll do a video on in just a minute. So if you're watching this video, go to my videos and check out the next updated video. That's going to be on this tank I just got and my breeding room so far. So, all right, first thing you do, and I got him from Petco. Dragon Blood Juvenile, Dragon Blood Peacock, I got him from Petco, had to get him, seen him in the tank, and he just looked great. He's not really showing too much color right now, he's a little stressed out probably, um, but he's really good looking, you'll, you'll see. Um, first thing you do is you take your bag that, that they packaged your fish in, and of course, everybody should know this, stick it down in your tank water, let him sit for a good 15, I let him sit for a good 15, 20 minutes. He's been sitting so far for about 10 minutes, so I'm going to let him sit for another good 5-10 minutes. Um, so do that. Take your bag that they packaged him in and stick him down in your tank water. And that reason is for so he can, that water in that bag he's packaged in will uh, start to become the temperature of the water that is in your current tank. Because most fish stores waters are usually about 74 to 76 degrees and if you keep cichlids your tank water is probably 80 to 82 degrees so you definitely want him that water in his bag to slowly heat to the temperature of the water in your tank the three other things that you will need is a pitcher any pitcher will work make sure it's clean then a net of course and a small cup so i'm gonna go ahead and stop this video and start it after he has about five to ten more minutes Three things you will need cup a pitcher or anything that you could put the fish down in with the water and a net of course there you go all right so now what I'm going to do he's been sitting in his bag for a uh, good 20 minutes now getting used to my tank water the tank water that they had there was pretty cold and mine's 80 degrees on the dot so I wanted him to the water to uh, his bag water to warm up to where my water was so I give him about 20 minutes maybe a little bit longer sitting in this bag um, first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna take this bucket like I showed you you're gonna need bucket net and this cup but first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take this bucket okay we're gonna pull him out of course I'm gonna get water on my floor we're gonna pull him out of the water bags nice and warm now as warm as my tank water we're going to, of course, pull this band off of here and uh, get them both off. And this is what we're going to do from here. I'm showing them, baby. Um, this is what we're going to do from here. Get these rubber bands all off. I hate pulling these damn rubber bands off, people. Um, get all these rubber bands off to where they're. Of course, I throw it in the cup, too. Get these bands off. Get it to where I can do this. Then we are going to slowly, slowly, what I try and, I usually cut this. Let me go ahead and do that. So what I do is I usually bring this down right here, and I will cut a portion of this right here. Okay, it makes it a lot easier to pour this water out, especially when there's longer bags, and not get it all over. So we'll cut this right here, to where then you just have this part. Stick it down in here and slowly pour this water with the fish into this pitcher. Okay, so now what we have, and I will show you real quick, is the fish with the water that he come in from the fish store in this pitcher. Okay, so there we go. We got that. So next thing that we are going to do is we're going to take this cup that I showed you. We're going to take this cup that I showed you, come to the tank that you're putting him, him in, and then fill this cup up right here. And we're going to do this. Slowly pour this water into the pitcher of the water 
with the fish that it come in from the store. So I'll do one cup and it kind of stirs them up a little bit and I'll do one cup, pour it in there and what that is doing is allowing this fish to then acclimate to the levels of your water in your tank that you're putting him in. And you do that so the, the fish doesn't go into shock when you put him into the tank that you put your tank changing the levels because the levels at the fish store guaranteed are not the levels of your tank especially when you have a cichlid tank because most most fish stores don't each tank doesn't just run off of one filter usually every tank is ran by one filter so air, their whole system is usually ran by one filter there so what you'll do and I'll usually do three cups um, this size this is probably about a cup and a half of water and I usually do three cups to get him acclimated. I'll pour a full cup in there, let him sit for about five minutes with that water, pour another cup in there, let him sit for about five more minutes, and then pour another cup in there, let him sit for about five minutes. By that time, the water has rotated in there, and he is then acclimated to your levels of your water. So therefore, we had got him used to the temperature, to the tank that he's going to go into and then got him acclimated to the levels of the tank that he is going to go into. So I'm going to stop this video, let him sit in this water with the new water in there, get used to the levels and then we'll do it, repeat it and do it again. Alright, so it's been about five more minutes. Next thing that I'm going to do is fill up another cup of my tank water and slowly pour it into this pitcher where the fish is now acclimating to my current tank water and there you go slowly pour it in there into his current tank water that he is in and allow him five more minutes to acclimate to that water alright guys it's been about five more minutes and we're going to do this for the last time again take your cup Dip it into your tank, fill it up with water, and again, slowly pour it into the pitcher with the fish. Give them another last five minutes to acclimate, and you will be good to go. All right, so now we're at the last step, people. It's been five more minutes. The fish is now at my tank's water temperature and is now have acclimated to my tank parameters. Next thing you want to do, take your net, always get your net wet before you put a fish in it. You never want to put a fish into a dry net, okay? Um, same with your hands, never grab your fish with dry hands. Always put your hands in your tank water before you would grab a fish. Um, so I got a bucket here now, a bucket. What I'm going to do is put this net over the bucket and slowly pour this water from the pitcher with the fish into it into the net to where the water will go through the net into the bucket to where the fish will then go into the net. All right, come on guys. So now the fish is in the net. Then what we're simply going to do is take the fish and put him right into the tank. And there you have it how to properly acclimate your fish. So now what I am going to do is I'm going to turn off my tank lights. It helps with uh, newly acquired fish in the tank for your other fish to not be so aggressive toward it. Turn off your tank lights. Again, this is JP with JP is Sick of Crazy and that is just my opinion on how to properly acclimate a fish. If you have any questions, please ask. Y'all have a great night and stay wet, people.